Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we're gonna to be doing a scrape painting. A lot of people seem to like the scrape paintings and you know what, I enjoy doing them. And someone pointed out because my canvas was moving, <laughs> they had to be rude about it and say that it was moving around. So you know what, I put some screws right here into my table so it doesn't move. How about that, huh? How about that? So anyway, <laughs> it's just, just messing around. All right, so I'm gonna do, we're gonna do red, white, and blue. Um, I enjoy the colors, I apologize, no one else does. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and do some red, white, and blue. So I'm thinking that we'll go ahead and let's do the blue on the bottom, and then we'll do the red on the top. So we got cerulean blue here, and we're gonna put that bad boy onto the canvas and kind of spread that out. So cerulean blue, and then we also have cadmium red and then white. So let's go ahead and pull these colors out. We'll brush these out to the sides, make sure we cover the edges, just to make sure the painting goes all the way across. And I think I have plenty of paint here. Didn't mean to put so much, but that'll be okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be okay. So we'll take this paint and we're gonna brush it from side to side, just to kind of fill those edges. There we go. Yeah, I definitely put uh, enough on here. I need to start with less and kind of work my way up. So yeah, oh well. All right, good there. Kind of fill the edges here. You know, we probably have enough paint here that we could fill, like paint the edges. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Usually I'll do black, um, but I think maybe we'll make an exception today. And I, I, I really hate wasting paint if possible. So <clears throat> cool, cool, looks good. Rotate this bad boy. Make sure we get the corners. And let's kind of tilt it towards us. Get some more of this paint here. I'm going to go ahead and kind of move the paint in that direction because I almost always scrape left to right. So, and almost good. There. Cool. All right. So we've got our edges painted. I'm just going to kind of smooth that out. Smooth it out. Smooth out some of these brush strokes over here. And good. Okay, so we'll put that down and then I'm gonna move the paint from side to side just because we're gonna be scraping that way anyway. And okay, cool. All right, so we'll put our paintbrush in water so that that can soak. And we'll put this up. Kind of line it up with the screws but i'm not going to put it right on the screws yet um, just because uh, i want it to dry a little bit before we start you know before we push it up up to it although i think once we push it up to the screws it'll probably kind of pull some of that paint off i can always go over it with black or the blue again later not a big deal all right so we're going to move on to our white and we're going to scrape that first and so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our paint shield today. We're gonna to run our white into kind of a thick bead on the edge. And we'll pull it through. So I'm gonna take some of this paint and go back over to the edge so that we get color all the way across. And 
again. I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't even go straight. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this, kind of the, the paint that's on the edge here and go through it one more time. Okay, so we got a nice distribution of paint here. So now we'll move on to our red. <clears throat> and actually one thing I want to try with one of these paintings in the future is doing kind of two colors. So putting one color on the bottom one color on the top and then kind of scraping it and then maybe scraping against it to kind of see how it turns out. So we've got a red on there. So let's go ahead and pick up the red, kind of go back to the edge here and see if we can pull it through. I think it's pretty good. I like it for the most part. There's some nice layering here, but I'm kind of considering if I want to go over it the other way. Um, only because I, I do like this scrape, but it's kind of like a little boring. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do it. It may ruin it, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. So I'm just going to lightly pull this across. And there it is. There's a lot of paint on the sides there. All right, so overall, it's all right. I don't really like the kind of the distribution of the paint. The problem with the paint shield is that it doesn't put like a lot of pressure onto the painting. Um, so it's it's kind of a, it's different than like using the plexiglass, which almost like crushes the paint and pulls it. So let's see, I don't know if I have my plexiglass out. I think I have it put away. Yeah, it's over there, so. See, so if you think about the difference in the tools. Um, this is just gonna give you kind of a thin scrape because a lot of the paint is going up here, right? And so you're kind of thinly pulling the paint on. But with this thing, um, you're actually putting that paint on there and kind of crushing it into the other layers, um, which I kind of wish I did. And actually, I'm thinking we could go ahead and do that uh, thing that I wanted to do anyway right now. So I'm not happy with this revolt. I'm gonna go ahead and stack on top of this and I'm gonna use that uh, plexiglass. So I'm gonna put some blue here, almost like uh, the American flag. And then I'm gonna do some, some red and white. So I'll do some almost like strips of red, almost like uh, the flag. And then we'll do some white. I think maybe I'll do a little bit of red up here too. We'll just do it like right there and then I'll do some white right here uh-huh it's not exactly even I get that put a little bit of red right there and then right there okay so we've got some good coverage there and let's just see what happens so I'm gonna go ahead and see if this is lined up with the screws it's on one of them. So uh, I'm gonna have to adjust my screws. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna push down on it to kind of push it to the edge, right? So we know it's there. And then we're just gonna, we're gonna push down kind of on the middle of the plexiglass. We're gonna 
really pull this paint through. And that actually looks pretty darn cool. <laughs> You don't get a whole lot of the red and the white that we did at the top, but you do get it at the end. Um, and then you almost get this kind of like, you get like this solid color, and then you almost get like this fade out of the color and then back into it. So it looks like a faded flag almost. I wonder, I'm wondering if we can kind of just do just the end. Yeah, I actually like that a lot. Um, that actually looks really cool. That's that's uh, that's pretty cool. So a lot happier with that scrape. So it kind of looks like a flag, am I right? It's got some little mini, uh, you know, stripes up here. And then it's got the solid block of blue and then the red and the white and the red and white. It, it's like it's clean and then it kind of fades away and then fades into uh, the edge. So actually this turned out pretty cool. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with it. Uh, so I'm kind of glad we went over it again. And then you, you know, you can see underneath you've got, you know, it's kind of the background color. So it kind of pushes it forward because the background's a little muted. So you almost don't really see a lot of that. But uh, yeah, really happy with it. I'm glad we went over it again with, with the plexiglass. That's actually my favorite tool to use for it anyway. Um, because again, it, it pulls the paint further along than something like this, where you have to kind of very lightly push into it. So yeah, overall, I'd say a success. This is kind of the, the overall here, just kind of give you guys a little, just a little preview. But yeah, overall success, I think. And I think uh, we have a good one. Let's set this down to kind of get the, uh, the thumbnail here. There we go, perfect. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed. I, I'm happy with the results and that's it. I mean, nothing else to say. So have a good one. Take care. God bless and see you in the next video. Bye guys.